Howdy, y'all. I thought I would take you guys on a bit of a morning ramble. We had a thunderstorm last night, and I thought I'd walk around and look at, see if anything's down or damaged or anything, and thought y'all might want to come along with me. So first, I want to check on my tomatoes. So I'm gonna go out here and check on the maters. We've got some new neighbors. They're cows. We didn't have any cows for a while, but they've moved us some in here, so now I have some cow neighbors. I don't see any showing themselves right now, but I kind of miss them when there's no cows in this pasture over here. They have some little babies. Well, let's see if I can see some. Nope, they're on the other side. They had some little babies, they were so cute. And my tomatoes seem fine. We can look together. They're getting big already. And no damage from the thunderstorm. I think they've probably doubled in size since I've planted them. But they're doing good. And so now I will go check on the grapes. And I'm seeing some promising development in one of the grapes. And one of them, it looks like it's starting to form some buds on there. But one of them still just looks like a dry stick and that's the dark ones. So I'm hoping maybe, maybe it will, you know, come around and perk up after that drench last night. We had a heck of a thunderstorm last night. We didn't lose electricity, but it was certainly uh, blowing really good. So yeah, nothing down on the grape bed. And you can see this, this little guy right here it's got some green. It's doing something. But this one, not so much. And the other one is like totally like a dry dead stick. So I got my fingers crossed that those two came from tractor supply. So I'm hoping maybe they were just a little more dormant or it takes a little bit longer for them. And yeah, so lately we've been doing a lot of yard work. Um, the flowers are starting to bloom. I've got the bluebells over here. There's usually always some kind of pretty pollinator over here. And it shouldn't be long. And I'll have irises and lilies. And uh, so we planted the grapevines on our 13 year anniversary and we planted this willow tree on our 10 year anniversary and when we got it it was just a tiny little slip of a thing it fit inside of my jeep and now it is a really good sized tree and it's looking particularly good this year I'm very, very pleased with it. It looks really nice. And we also uh, planted a pecan tree the same time we planted the willow. And I haven't really checked on it this year. So I'm gonna walk out and check on it with you guys. Sorry about all the traffic noise. That just happens. We don't have a lot of just through traffic, but there are big trucks, you know, it's commerce. So the cats aren't out with me today. I'm expecting a maintenance man. We have to have our heating and air unit serviced. And so the cats can't come out. Um, for one, I'm worried that they'll drive up and maybe hurt one of them, run over one of them or something because they're not paying attention for them. But another thing is, uh, He's probably gonna have to pull some of the underpinning out from around the house maybe and go under there or something like that. It's possible. So um, I didn't want them under there either. So here's the pecan tree. And it is getting ready to do its thing. You can see, look at all of those leaves are just fixing to pop out. And I really hope that this guy 
This is how big it is, you can see. <laughs> I really hope this one does some pecans this year because it'll be three years old this year. And it was just a tiny little twig when we got it too. So I'm hoping that it will do pecans this year. So it doesn't look like any of our uh, plants that we take real close care of have been damaged by the storm. And I'm not even seeing a whole lot of trees, I mean limbs down around here. Um, there's a few, there's a few out there. You can probably see just a couple of sticks down out there. I'll have to pick up, but not bad. Um, I was gonna walk down here real quick and show you, we've been having some issues with the people across the road who own that property. They don't do anything with it. And so of course it flooded. Because around here, if you don't keep up your drainage ditches and culverts and stuff, your land's going to flood. That's just the way that it is. So finally, and it's been like two years now this has been needing done, finally they came and they brought the machine and they dug the ditch out. So I will show you. Now this was all, all the way up to the road. It was just swamp and cattails just swamp and cattails so they brought the little track hoe down here and dug out a really good ditch and it had been flowing across the road right in here you can tell it been flowing across the road here and it washed the road out and you know we patch it we repair it there's a little patch right there but you know that only lasts so long when every time it rains, <laughs> and y'all it rains a lot here, every time it rains, the whole of this field is draining across that part of the road. It, uh, you know, it tears the road up. So, very happy to see this. Ditch has been dug, so that is awesome. You can see all the cattails out there. Now this was just some woods, but somebody irresponsibly clear cut it and then abandoned it now after you clear cut some woods you really need to take care of that property make sure it you know gets the attention it needs gets cleared up you don't want to leave a big nasty mess everywhere that can't drain and causes flooding problems like this but anyway so now there is a good ditch right there and that will definitely help with our drainage because you know we won't be having to deal with every bit of the water from this property flowing across the road onto our property which our ditch is okay you know but it's not it could be better and it can't handle just a huge amount of water like that so i was really really pleased that they got that finally got that done and we're getting the maintenance man out possibly today i'm not sure if he's coming today or if um he's just calling today or what if it's going to be like um you know where they look at it and they give you an assessment and uh then come back and fix it or if he's going to come back come out today actually and fix it but i tell you what it is getting warm and it is time to have that AC working in good repair. So definitely have to get that going. And you know, it's been cool at night and I can open the windows and turn the fans on and stuff and it's fine, but it's gonna be hot before we know it. So yeah, been working in the yard a lot, doing a lot of yard work, doing a lot of gardening. I'm thinking about planting some peppers. I wanna get some jalapenos going. And I'm also thinking about planting some sunflowers. And the thinking on the sunflowers is, I wanna learn about planting and harvesting sunflower seeds. Because with my grapevines and my pecan tree, I figure I could have raisins and golden raisins, pecans and sunflower seeds and make kind of a homemade trail mix. You know, like a healthy trail mix. I could make the raisins and stuff. But yeah, that's what I was thinking about. Doing some sunflower seeds. And yeah, that's about it for my morning ramble. The cats 
all want to come inside. Let me show you all this. I mean outside, not inside. Look how they are just waiting. There's Marina and Howard and my beautiful little Vincent. Hey, precious angel. They want to come out so bad, you guys. But I can't let them, not until the handyman comes and goes, so. I uh, just thought I'd take y'all around with me. I hope you enjoyed my little morning ramble. Let's see, today it is, it's not noon yet. And it is about 62 degrees Fahrenheit. And that would be about, what, 15, 16, 17 degrees Celsius. Gosh, that sounds cold. Is that right? 10, 15, yeah. 17 degrees Celsius. I'm not good at Celsius, you guys. <laughs> All right. Thanks for joining me. Till next time, y'all be sweet.